everyone. I have decided to just pick up the camera and just film. I don't know what this vlog is going to entail but hopefully by the title you'll already know. Um, so it's currently Sunday the... Hmm, let's see, what is it? 21st of July and I got back from my holiday on like Thursday evening at like midnight and I miss it so much already guys. I miss it so much Ugh. um it was so good so hopefully you've watched the vlog if not what are you doing go and watch it <laughs> um so yeah i thought i would start the vlog today i've just done my makeup for the day i don't know what i'm doing i was going to film some content but the weather outside is not the one it's a bit gray so i don't know if i'm going to film like what i was going to film because it might be bad lighting but we'll see maybe i will i've got some branded content to film um, which is exciting. So yes, why am I out of breath? What is that about? <laughs> um, I think I might pop to like TK Maxx today and the range and stuff and then I might go to my nan. So I've got a bit of a day going on so I'll bring you guys along um, and then I'll film some bits today and probably just throughout the whole week because this video is not going to go up just yet anyway. So um, yeah, I might film the week and just, just spend some time together. Come on, let's get to know each other. <laughs> um, I've got this really gorgeous dress on from Fat Face. I love the colour of it, it's so nice. So comfy. Um, my room is a bit of a mess. I am actually going to rearrange my room, so I might do that tonight. I'm in the summer house just filming the branded content for Fat Face, like I said. Um, just been using my props, got my bag. Oh, it's getting a bit hot in here though. Um, but I thought I'd film it in here because it's quite beachy. I don't know if I've shown you guys. It's been a while. Oops. But this is my mum's like pride and joy. She loves it in here because it's all like beachy themed. Um, so many like beachy bits here and up here going to the beach but the problem is the roof has gotten a little bit mouldy because obviously it's very damp um so yeah Then I took a trip to TK Maxx. I picked up this headband set, but I didn't end up getting it. Um, then I went upstairs, there was loads of Halloween stuff, and I really wanted it, but I had to refrain from getting any of it. And there was some really nice autumnal candles and stuff as well, but I just didn't get any of it because I was like, I don't need it yet. <laughs> but you bet I will get it soon. Look how nice it's come out now. Blue skies. So, mum's out for dinner tonight, so I'm bending for myself and I thought that let's cook together because I don't normally cook not gonna lie my mum does that for me so I thought let's do it together I'm gonna do like a roasted veg tray bake kind of thing okay so far I've got an onion some that a pepper some butternut squash some potatoes in this which I'm obviously going to put in there but not the whole lot. I've got a garlic just to add it in there for flavouring. I'm not actually going to eat that. And then I feel like I need something else but I can't figure out what I'm missing. Maybe carrot but then I have got butternut squash. Broccoli? I don't know.
dinner is ready. I've just taken it out of the oven. Oh, I forgot to say that I also did put a bit of feta on it. Um, I would have normally done halloumi, but we didn't have any. So, yum, it looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. doesn't look like much guys but I'm sure it's gonna taste so nice <laughs> do my makeup now and come on to here looking a little bit presentable um i do need to like straighten my hair and get changed and everything um but as i was doing my makeup i was like looking through my makeup bag and there was so much stuff that i don't use slash is probably like out of date now so i thought we could just kind of go through it together and um just do a bit of a clear out really and i'll kind of just show you like what's in my makeup bag kind of thing um there's actually not that much in there. I do have a drawer in my vanity which has some makeup-y bits in it. But again, I just feel like it needs to all kind of have a little sort out. So we're just going to do that and have a little catch up at the same time. Um, so what have I done this week? I, Me and my best friend went to watch It Ends With Us in the cinema. And I really, really loved it. Um, I've already read the books before. And I just loved the film. I felt like it really encaptured what I had in my head about the books. Do you know what I mean? Um, and Blake Lively played her really well. And just, I really liked all the characters and I think I'm in love with that list. So, but who isn't going to be? Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed that film. <sighs> okay, let's start in this front little pouch. Because um, this has all my like lipsticks in it. Whoa. This makeup bag is a very old Primark like toiletry bag I don't know if you can see but the front of it's like quilted but it's massive and it's just so handy for all of my makeup so um I have this lipstick which is from I think this must be the brand give them Nala it came in a glossy box I got ages ago the shade is the beach and I absolutely love it it's like a really lovely peachy color um and I just feel like it really is like my colour. I really love a peachy lip and that is not that old so that one can stay. Then I have this which my friend gave me the other day so it is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline um, and it's got hyaluronic acid in it which I've never really seen that before um, but yeah it's kind of just like a gloss but it's like this pink colour so it is quite new so I'll keep it because basically she bought it but she didn't like the shade so she gave it to me so that one is new so I need to like properly try that one out um, then I have this Inglot lip gloss, which you like twist it and it comes out. Oh my god, I've just twisted loads. It is actually 
such a nice gloss this might be out of date but i also do actually have um this spray so it's like a makeup spray and it is um like an anti-back basically um it says on the front safely eliminates bacteria from makeup and beauty tools so what i'm gonna do is once i've gone through them i'm gonna just spray them all with this just because you know we want to be hygienic out here in the world girls okay then i have this revolution like matte lip cream um this is in the shade cream crush and i really really like this one it's again just kind of like a really deep like brownie peach color um just really lovely then i have this which i actually forgot about um i don't know what the brand is oh mina um but the packaging is actually really cool i don't know if you can see that very well and then it's like a really nice brown shade i've barely used it actually um but i do really like brown shades so i will probably keep well it's very pigmented blimey i only did like one little swatch um yeah it's really pigmented and yeah it's actually a really nice color i feel like this one and this one together would look really nice so i actually don't wear a lot of lipstick i'm definitely more just like a lip gloss kind of person but when i do put lipstick on sometimes i'm like oh yeah um okay next up i have this anastasia beverly anastasia beverly hills like mini lip gloss which definitely definitely is going to be out of date I'm not gonna lie this is in the shade coconut and it's a matte lipstick this is brown this is oh god this is well loved can you see the state of that um but i really like it so i'm gonna keep it even though it's definitely probably really grim but it's okay it's okay what else do we have in here i don't even know anymore oh i have this smashbox one which again super old um in the shade audition but it's just such a nice color oh my god look it's not even got a tipped end anymore um it's really really nice and it's such like a creamy um like consistency it's like a hybrid of like a lipstick and a gloss and it is like a dupe shade for a mac lipstick but i can't remember the name of the mac lipsticks that's not going to be very helpful uh then i have this another little mini one um oh it's a fly in here this is a laura mercier one this must have come in some sort of glossy box magazine kind of vibe um this looks like it's hardly really been touched what shade is this in rouge essential um i'm just not massively into like pinky colors but i will keep that one because i feel like it's a good like oops it is a good like travel size so yeah i might actually keep that one um i haven't got any earrings in god i really need to get my hair straightened when it's like this basically i went to my gym class this morning and i've obviously let it just dry naturally but it just goes frizzy like it was a lot more curlier than this earlier but because i've kind of like been brushing it and like playing with it it's kind of any like waves or curls have definitely dropped um so i need to straighten it which i will do before i leave okay next up i have this one which is in the shade pure color envy and this is by estee lauder where have i got these from i honestly do not know wow this one looks a really deep like purpley color i don't know how well they're coming up on camera but yeah that's like a nice like plummy i feel like these shades would be nice in the autumn um not so much for now then I have this Topshop lipstick, which is in the shade Marriage Vows, which again, I have, seems like I have used it a little bit. Um, it's like, again, it's in like a nice pinky shade. Oh, that's a really nice pinky shade, actually. That one can stay. Again, definitely out of date. Okay. And then I just seem to have, so I do have this Plump Me Up gloss, which is like one that makes your lips kind of tingle um and this is from collection and then i have a carmex lip balm which I definitely needs to go in the bin because that will be out of date then i have some um lip liners okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to just spray them all now with this and then put them back give them a little wipe over put them back into the makeup bag um i think i might get rid of this plump me up one because i'm pretty sure that is old 
and I've got my Inglot one so yeah and um, basically this is safe to spray into makeup and it doesn't change like the formula or anything it's basically used for makeup artists um, so and it's vegan not tested on animals which is great so yeah I'm just literally gonna spray the ends and spray inside and that is fine good to go so that's gonna go back in um okay right moving on to the big part now so i have my beauty blender which is just a given because i am always a beauty blender kind of person i don't really ever use a brush then i have my all-time favorite setting spray which is the All Nighter by Urban Decay. Um, they have many different variants of this. I really like this one and I also like the one that comes in like a yellow package. It's kind of like the glowy one. Um, so then I have my Huda Beauty Powder. This is in the shade Cupcake. It's lasted me so long. And I do have a Laura Mercier CA one in here as well. What is wrong with me today? I'm so clumsy. Then I have my mascara, which is the Sky High one. Um, oh my god, what's going on? Um, I love this mascara, but th this is like a newer bottle, and I feel like it's coming out really clumpy, so I don't know what's going on with that, but it's kind of annoying. Then I have this makeup palette, which is um, by this brand, and what it looks like so it's just really handy to take with me everywhere because it fits in my makeup bag so I have this brow pencil which if you watched my vlogs maybe like a few weeks ago well months ago um I bought this from Home Bargains and it's just the W7 brush for your brows and oh my god it's actually unreal so good it's kind of just like the dupe for the um next one and the <sighs> makeup forever one is it makeup forever can't remember anymore then I have this got to be glue like gel thing which I sometimes use in my brows sometimes don't depends how I feel then I have this fan which I got in Crete um and it's really good for using to dry my what you call it setting spray also I've just noticed that the color difference on the camera is actually insane in real life it does not look that different I promise you that um maybe it's the light that I'm in it is a bit different not gonna lie but I haven't faked hands and my natural tan is fading from my holiday so I have this little trio of contour blush and highlighter from Rimmel which is just really handy to have um travel size it's all there in one go it's just handy and the colors are actually really nice but this camera's doing me dirty my makeup does not look this dark. I also, can we talk about Tommy Fury and Molly May? Devastated. Um, then I have this Pillow Talk highlighter, which is 100% going to be out of date. But I'm going to use it anyway. I'm going to keep that one. Um, then I have this mini little setting spray which came in a little package thing I got the other day from Benefit, um, so yeah. Okay, I have this which I found the other day in the car under my seat. God knows how long it had been in there for, but at one point this was my favourite product ever. It's basically just like a body glow, but I don't know how I ever used to really wear this because it's really pigmented. <laughs> Where was I putting this? Just like all over? Yeah, no. It's just got like a smell to it, which I just can't really. It reminds me of like when I was younger and I used to shop in Poundland for like pff, everything. Poundland used to do these like body sprays and it reminds me of one of them. And yeah, I just, just needs to go. But it is by a brand called Becca and it's just like a body highlighter so that needs to go I'm afraid I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion but I have this blush and it's a liquid bronze um a liquid blusher it says and it's in 
cream carve, which is obviously meant to be like a contoury thing. But I honestly cannot for the life of me. I don't know if I've just used up the product or what, but for some reason, like it just doesn't really rub in very well on my skin. Um, okay, now that I've just put it on my hand, it literally has, but when I normally put it on my face, it just goes all like bitty and it like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it just doesn't seem to like my skin. So that can go in the bin, it's almost empty anyway. But I do have two blush shades um, and I really like these. So we've got Peach Sugar and the other one is called Posy, but I've just dropped it. It's called Posy Rosy actually. Um, but yeah, I really like those. But then I did get this mini milk cream blush and I actually am really enjoying that. I used it the other day and it rubs in so nicely. It's just really nice. I think you can use it as a lip gloss as well. Not really sure, but that's good. Okay, then I have this W7, like, it's meant to be a concealer, but I think I bought it to kind of be like a contour thing. Um, oh, actually, the shade is so much lighter than it looks in the bottle. That actually is probably my shade for concealer, which I didn't really realise, but okay, the more you know. That's why it's good to do this, because I feel like I just have to buy stuff sometimes and I don't even really look at it. Um, then I have this little palette of eyeshadows as well, which is just really nice because it's just all there, again, if you're just travelling or whatever. Um, then I have this concealer, which is definitely too light. I've got it on today and it's way too light. I feel like I need to redo my makeup. No, no, it's fine. Um, this is the Lasting Perfection one, the Hydrating Serum, and it's in Extra Fair 4, which, why did I get Extra Fair? Was I feeling okay? I normally get ivory. Um, then I have this Makeup Forever one, which again, I bought for contouring. And it's actually such a good, oh my God. These concealers are so good. I really, really love them. I actually need to get one in like my correct shade. But yeah, I use that for contouring sometimes and it's bloody good. Um, but that is going to be out of date, I'm pretty sure. But there's a tiny bit left. Do I just leave it? There's only a little bit left, so I'm just going to keep that one still. And then I have this Maybelline Magic Eraser, or whatever it's called, Instant Eraser one, which is good. I don't love this, like, application thing. I really don't. And, like, again, it's kind of like a spongy thing, and I just feel like surely that is just so... Um, unhygienic but also I feel like so much product gets wasted in there but oh well okay then I have this bronzer well yeah matte bronzing powder from collection um this I really don't like it I don't really like the colour of it and it every time I use it, it breaks me out into spots. I don't know why. It just does. It just doesn't get on with my skin. Um, so it's safe to say that that can go in the bin. Right, then I have two primers, which I really like. God, I thought that was a spider. It's a bit of fluff. Um, two primers, which I really like. Very different. One is from Revolution, and it is a hydrate Hydrate and Hold, it's called. Um, this is really good, really cheap. Kind of gives a dupe to the Makeup Forever one. Um, and then I have this one, which is the Power Grip one from e.l.f., which is my favourite because it just makes your makeup last all day. So I really like that one, and that is quite new. I bought that when I was seeing Taylor Swift, so if you watch that vlog, you'd know. <laughs> if you haven't, then you should. Um, then I have this Inglot Duraline, which... Basically, you put a drop of it into your makeup. Normally, I just do my foundation normally, but you can do eyeliner or whatever. And it just makes your makeup waterproof. If you didn't know. Okay, then I have some... I have quite a lot of foundations at the moment. Um, so let me just get them out. We can go through them. Well, I say quite a lot. It's a lot for me. It's probably not a lot for everyone else. 
Um, right, so I do have three shades of Makeup Forever because this is my favourite foundation for like everyday use. It's the HD Skin. I have the shade, oh, the shades are really annoying because they're in like numbers. But Y, no, 1Y04 is one shade that I have. Then I have 2R24. And then I have 3N42. Then I have this Lasting Perfection Glow one, which actually is quite nice. I had this in the shade Cashew number no. 6. Um, and I do quite like it. And it's a good mixer because it's quite light, so I can mix it with the darker ones if I fake tanned or whatever and just need a bit of a nicer colour. Then I have this Revolution Pro CC Cream, um, well CC Perfecting Foundation, which I think I like, can't remember. I think it might be a little bit pinky toned for my skin though, that might be the only thing. Because I think my skin is maybe more yellow tone. Um, yep, yeah. and then I have this Fenty Foundation, which I don't know if I like Fenty ones or not. The, the, oh no. Um, I find that they really, really oxidise. So that is just really annoying. But I think other than that, I don't mind it. I really can't remember to be honest. I actually need to like use this makeup and just see what I like and don't like. And then I do have another all-time fave here, which I absolutely got the wrong shade. I ordered it on um, ASOS, and yeah, completely the wrong shade. It's in the shade Shortcake, 315B. Um, either that or they changed it, because I'm sure I used to have Shortcake and it used to be my colour. Maybe I had Shortbread. Maybe, I don't know. But it's the Huda Beauty one. It is my favourite. It's such a good foundation. If you were going on a night out, or if you've got an event all day... This is the best. Faux, faux Filter Luminous Matte. But the problem is, mine is way too dark for me, as you can see on my hand. So I do have to mix it a lot with another foundation, which I just feel like takes away the beauty of this foundation. Um, but, yeah, I do actually need to get it in my correction. It's just so, like... Like, it's just so... I just did one pump then, and it's just so... I don't know, I just feel like it goes a long way and it just lasts a long time and I just really like it. Um, that's everything on my makeup bag. Okay. Oh, I do have, um, I forgot as well, I have loads of like eyeshadow palettes too. I have these four Urban Decay ones, I have a Morphe one, I have a Beauty Bay one, but I just keep them forever. Like, they probably have gone out of date, but I just keep them. I just spray my magic spray on them, and I think they're fine. I need to do that, actually. Right, guys. <laughs> Same day. Um, as you can see, I am dressed and ready to go out. I have this top on, which I honestly haven't worn in about two years. Luckily enough, it still fits um, just about over my boobs. <sighs> my jeans are tight, though. I feel like... I don't really know what's happened, but this past like few months, all my clothes feel really tight, so well, I think we know what's happened, but anyway, I forgot to these were in my bag basically, so I forgot to say about these in my makeup collection earlier, which I have got on now. Um, I've got this lip liner from Estee Lauder Double Wear. I really really love it it's just this lovely like taupey brown and then I have this St. Moritz lip gloss which has a little bit of like shimmer in it and honestly it's so nice it's not sticky at all it's like like it's so nice and it kind of tastes a little bit coconutty so I've got that on um taking the Prada girl out tonight so that can go in there um and then I need to put on some jewellery. I've already got this ring on because I found it in my bag. Maybe I put this one on. Yep, that one. Got this one. Oh gosh. I don't know if these rings are going to fit over my fingers. Hmm. Is that a bit much? I do love a ring. for rings and then earrings um, I'll probably just go with these trusty old little H&M ones they're so cute oops I feel 
feel like I've dropped every single thing that I've picked up tonight. Honestly, I don't know what is wrong. I'm so clumsy. Just being so clumsy today. <sighs> right. My dog's chicken's on downstairs, so I need to go and do that before I leave. Um, I feel like my makeup looks okay. <sighs> Gosh really hot actually um i was going to quickly talk you through my makeup um my perfume collection wasn't i i don't have absolutely loads so i can quickly do it and um, i have this one this is from a brand called two i have never heard of it before but i when i was in madrid we had money left when we were at the airport <sighs> i really don't know if i like it or not to be honest um I basically have this thing where if I don't love a perfume, I make it my bedtime perfume. <laughs> so when I go to bed, like on my pyjamas, I spray perfume. So this is normally like my bedtime perfume because I don't love the smell of it. Um, one I do love the smell of though is this Ariana Grande Cloud one. This is just a staple for me. I feel like I always have this in my perfume collection. Um, I get it for like Christmas, birthdays. I always have it stocked up because I just love it. I think it's such an easy scent. Um, it's just really vanilla-y and you can always smell it on people well I can and I love it I think it's just so nice and then I have another Ariana Grande one which I also love equally which is a mod vanilla um, this is my first bottle of this but I'm honestly obsessed always get complimented on it it just smells like really sweet vanilla it's just really really nice um, so yep then I recently got this one from the airport on the way home from Crete, um, which I absolutely love. <laughs> I love. Um, it's just Moschino. It says cheap and chic. <sighs> this is summer in a bottle. It just smells like oranges, like sunshine. Just summer. <sighs> I honestly love it. I think it was 20 euros and um, it's one of my favourites I own. Um, another one that I have which I do love it but it's not like my favourite that I have is this Flash by Jimmy Choo. Again this is normally a bedtime perfume. I do like it. Um, I just find that it's one that I don't gravitate towards. I'm not going to spray it on me actually but yeah I don't know like this one's definitely better after like wearing it for a bit like once it settles into you it's kind of better and um, i have a tiny little bit left of this one which is just a zara one it smells really nice though it's i think it's called red vanilla then i have two left i don't have that many perfumes well i suppose that's quite a few but i have these two so i have this prada one which i actually might wear tonight i've not worn it in a while um which reminds me of my holiday to egypt because i wore it on that holiday loads and it's just really nice so i might wear that tonight or i might wear this one which is my burberry one i think this is called burberry her which again actually now i'm gonna wear this one oh <laughs> i sprayed too much <laughs> in my face oh. this one i feel like it smells different to what it smelled like when i first got it don't know what that's about but I'm just going to spray loads of it because oh, it's not the strongest of scents, but it is such a nice smell. It kind of, oh my god, it smells really like alcohol-y. Why has it gone like that? I've not had this that long. I got this at, I got this on my birthday in March, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it suddenly smells really alcohol-y, which is great. Now that I've just sprayed it all over me. Um... Yeah, maybe I might just spray a bit of this on top just to get rid of this vanilla -y one. Why is everything smelling really different? Do you think it's because it's been hot and sunny? Do you think the heat hasn't changed my perfumes? Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're my perfumes that I own. Um, I only really ever get perfumes at like Christmas or my birthday. I would never... Well, that's a lie because I have two on this tray which I did get at the airport but yeah and I have them on this pretty little tray it's 
so anyway i actually need to go i need to sort my dog's chicken out um but i also obviously i have those perfumes but i do also just use like body sprays and stuff um my favorite one at the moment is this one from sol de janeiro oh so good i'm gonna put that in my bag actually for tomorrow so yeah i need to go and um, i might film some clips on my phone off the phone <laughs> It is the next day now, so we just went to TK Maxx, just have a little look around, but there was nothing in there apart from loads of Halloween stuff, so I'll show you that. Okay, so I'm going to make the Kinder Bueno coffee thing, which I've seen on TikTok from m and So we've got the iced coffee latte, hazelnut syrup, and then we couldn't find the thing that I've seen other people use, but this basically is the same thing. Um, it still has vanilla extract in it. Um, but yeah, the, the thing that I've seen people use basically says like vanilla and white chocolate milkshake, but this is just white chocolate but like I said it has vanilla in it so I feel like it's gonna do the same thing so let's go okay so I think we do the milk first just chuck my hair up because I've just been tidying my room um, and I thought today basically I'm going to Victoria's Festival next weekend and I need to find three outfits to wear because we're going all three days and then I'm gonna have some like spare outfits just in case I don't like it on the day you know that kind of thing and then I'm also gonna get some bits out for my friends to wear as well um, but so I thought we could do that together I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking but I quickly just wanted to show you a little fat face haul that I have. I was kindly gifted some stuff. So, first of all, you might have seen quite a lot of this in my Greece vlog because I wore some of it in Greece. Um, and also, if you head over to the fat face Instagram page, then you'll see a little reel that I made. Um, or I think I've put it on my YouTube short as well, so you can watch it there. But go over to the Instagram page because then you can like it and give me some love on the reel because it's my first reel I've ever made um because I'm going to be doing some work with them like being an ambassador kind of thing which is exciting so anyway I bought this bag so a lot of this stuff now is going to be in the sale so you can get it in the sale bargain so firstly I have this bag which you definitely would have seen on holiday and I think I probably will take it to the festival next weekend it's just like a bum bag um but you can wear it like across shoulder on your shoulder wherever but it's actually like so big inside it's got this nice little 
pocket you're not going to be able to see are you because it's black but there's like a pocket here um for like a phone and then there's a zippy bit so you can put like money in and then just the big bit which is good so yeah I think I'll probably take that I did also buy a sun hat but I have packed it away um but yeah it's cute if you just type in like straw sun hat on their website you'll probably see the one that I bought there's not that many and then I've got all the stuff hung up on the back of the door so I have these two dresses which I bought um what's the best way for me to do this maybe on the mirror yeah like I said, the try-on clips and everything will be on there. So, first dress is this one. It's actually like a beach dress. But it's like tie-dye. And I just thought it was really cute. And then it's got these little like brodery bits in it as well. Um, and it's really nice. And you can adjust the back with these little straps. So that's really cute. Um, and then the next dress is this one. Which is so nice. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I actually really liked the colour and I feel like it just looks really nice on. So I got those. Um, this one actually, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it's got like gold kind of like lurexy stuff in it. And it's part of their copper and black collection, which is um, more of like the dressy side of stuff. Then I just have some denim shorts, which I bought. These are called the Sutton Cut Off Denim Shorts and they come in like a darker blue as well. But they're really nice and that's the back. Got the little logo there. Um, so they're just a staple. What else do we have? Oh yeah, I have this jumpsuit which is like a beach. Which is like a beachwear jumpsuit. Um, so it's black. So they do leg lengths. Um, but this is really cute because it's kind of got this like cut out in the sleeve with some stitch detail and then the back it's kind of like cut low I haven't worn it yet as you can tell it has got the tag on it um, but I might take it for my friend to potentially wear to the festival um, it's just got these tassels so this is called the Beachwear Celine Jumpsuit um, so yeah, love that one then I do just have this plain white cotton t-shirt but it's um, organic cotton so it feels really really soft I'm just going to hang that up there um, yeah it feels really really soft sorry it's a bit creased I need to iron all of this but yeah that's nice just a staple to have then I've got this dress which I was wearing at the start of the video. This is called the Adele dress. It comes in many colours um, and I really love this olive green one and it's all like sheared here um, so it's really flattering. You can kind of wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder and then the bottom bit has got like a little frill. It's actually so comfy and flattering. Then I got this cord which I flip in love I'm gonna hang that up here as well so this is a bit chaotic <laughs> um, but basically they're linen and it's this linen stripe and the top is just a little shell top but the back has some little ties so cute so you could definitely wear this this way around I can't because unfortunately my boobs are too big and it doesn't like do up properly so it doesn't look very good so I have to wear it the right way around um, I haven't worn it properly yet but when I tried it on but I might potentially take this to wear next weekend as well this is the Aditi linen blend top and then there's trousers to match they're just wide leg linen um and they've got this really nice like button here and elastic waist these are called the pendine stripe and then last but not least I have this which is probably my favorite from the whole haul um I have this little waistcoat which I definitely think I will wear to the festival um and it's just got this like these coin detailing things um it's just really cute so yeah that is my haul from that face um really really nice and like I said most of this will be in the sale now so go on over <sighs> okay so now festival sorting outfit time so I definitely think this is going to be something that I wear so let me just pop that up there for a minute okay so I have this dress which could potentially be an option um I did buy it 
to wear last year but I never ended up wearing it it's just this Zara um dress I got it on vintage um yeah it's just like crochet and I think it's got like a little slip dress in it until about here and then the rest of it is crochet which I thought would actually be really cool just with some like black boots or whatever so I could potentially wear that I'm gonna try it on in it like I'm gonna try all of this on in a minute so that is one option and then obviously like I said I have that little queen waistcoat and then I do have this um skirt which I got from Brandy Melville let me just pop you down and I'll try and show you it Um, it's just this like tiered white skirt and I thought that that could look cute with this um, like that and then that I don't know um, but I do think I'm going to wear this skirt I just don't know what with yet because I do also have have this little denim -y waistcoat thing which I actually think could look really cute with this and then maybe I wear this one with like a satin skirt or like denim shorts or something I don't know I'm just gonna get out all my options and then I might just try them on and see right guys I have kind of taken a bit of a break um I've pulled out a whole load of stuff but I thought that basically because I want to get this video edited and up for you tomorrow um, I thought that I would stop the vid now, end it now, and then the next, like you can obviously find out what I'm going to wear in the Victorious vlog, which should be up, might not be the next video up, but it should be the one after that. Um, so yeah, so look out for that vlog for the outfit and just the vlog in general, it's going to be so fun, the whole weekend with my bestie. Louis Tomlinson's there on the Friday night, who's, he's the one I'm basically the most excited for. I love Louis, um, as you guys know. And he's gonna be there and I'm gonna try and get close to the front. I'm gonna shove everyone out of the way. <laughs> um, but if you're going to Victoria's, please do let me know in the comments. Um, be cool to see any of you there. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm just gonna edit the video now, chill in the sun. It's quite sunny outside, read my book you know, all that good stuff. So thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe, hit, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.